The certified Angus beef brand, celebrating 40 years. The organization painted their logo on 40 barns across the country, with the 40th being on the Adderholt Farm near Loudonville. Certified Angus beef president John Sticka had the honor of painting the final touches on the 40th mural in front of a cheering crowd. We feel extremely fortunate to be able to celebrate 40 years. You know, that's uh, that's uh, you know um, a real milestone for this brand and for production agriculture as well, I think, and the, definitely the Angus breed. And you know what it means to us is it means uh, 40 years of providing consumers with a high quality product uh, both here in Ohio as well as around the world and we're here uh, today on the exact date 40 years later that the brand sold its first pound at Renzetti's IGA in Columbus Ohio you know painting a barn and putting our logo on it uh, to commemorate 40 years in existence but also to commemorate the grassroots farmer and rancher origin that really is at the heart and foundation of certified Angus beef. There was still snow on the ground here in Ohio when we started with the first one in Ocala, Florida, but we've painted barns from Florida to the Pacific Northwest and Montana, from California, uh, clear into Pennsylvania and, and parts of New England. And so we tried to scatter them around the country because those Angus breeders that support this brand, that produce the genetics, that produce that quality product, they're scattered from one end of this country to the other. And this brand represents each and every one of them. Ohio Department of Agriculture Director David Daniels was on hand at the ceremony to offer state recognition of certified Angus beef, which has strong Ohio roots. Now, I have tried painting a barn before, but it's never had to look like anything other than red or white. So, <laughs> yeah. And it's good to be here to help the certified Angus brand celebrate their 40th anniversary. You know, um, you, you see it more and more. They've done a great job of building their brand over the years, and this is just one way that we can take an opportunity to recognize them. You know, the brand started here, or the brand ID started here in 1978, and this is the 100th year for the... Uh Ohio Angus Association and they're having their nas the U national convention here in Columbus on November the 3rd. So we look forward to continuing our relationship not only with that but also with the certified Angus brand as well. Artist Troy Freeman of Free Sky Studios crisscrossed the country this past year painting each of the 40 barns. Uh, it's definitely been an adventure, yes sir. <laughs> Tell us what it all goes into a barn painting. Um, well, it's a three-day process. So I, mean, I kind of blow into town uh, and I get out the night before and I get the drawing the basic of the logo put up the night before and then I do all my base painting and any of the prep work metal barns take a lot of prep work uh, just to get that surface ready to, to be painted so then I get all my base painting done then I come out the next day and I spray the gradient to get that nice and smooth and then I hand paint everything else and uh, you know, hopefully it turns out nice. It has 40 times in a row, so we're good to go. <laughs> Certified Angus Beef has grown to become an international brand, serving cattlemen while still based out of Worcester, Ohio. For the Ohio Ag Debt, I'm Joel Penorwood.